Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. This is going to be a little bit of a different one, so grab yourself a cup of tea. I have my iced tea right here, and we are going to dive into my traveler's notebook. So I got into stationery and notebooks and fountain pens around six seven months ago which isn't a shock to many because i review note-taking apps that's what my hobby has been for a long time but today i am showing you my favorite notebook the traveler's company notebook i have this in camel which i bought in the netherlands when i was on vacation there i didn't actually want a traveler's company but i bought one just to try it out and i fell in love with it i've had this for i think it's three months around three months now and you can see that it has started to platina a bit here at the edges i'm r very rough to my notebook it uh, comes with me everywhere so that's why it has some scratches and it doesn't look perfect but i like that about the travelers company um brand and their notebooks the fact that it doesn't look perfect it has scratches here at the back as you can see it isn't perfect it develops with you and over time it this gets a beautiful platina look but let's take a look inside of it so here i have uh the traveler's company pen loop and i have the lamy safari next to it uh, i don't necessarily like this because as you can see here it sort of bothers my inserts a bit but it hasn't been a problem yet i know that there are better pen loop alternatives out there but i've just gone with this even though it sort of bothers my inserts it isn't the worst actually uh it works and i can even secure it a little bit more when i put this into my backpack i take the letter bag and i put it over the pen as well just to be extra secure but let's open this up so inside i have one uh one regular uh regular size or just regular paper with nothing so just blank regular paper this is the traveler's company regular size which is a good size for me so i do a lot of uh writing in this especially for work that's why i can't show a lot of the things i have inside of here but i can show my scrapbook i did a little bit of scrapbooking inside of this it isn't the best for scrapbooking if that's something you would like to do um, traveler's company has a uh, craft paper which you can use instead but i just wanted to try it out and i was bored so i thought i would do it uh, anyways that's the first insert i have i actually have three inserts inside of here the second insert i have is a dot grid one where i write down my poetry whenever i feel like writing poetry or i dream of writing a book so i have a lot of stuff inside of here and i mainly use a fountain pen to write inside of this for the third insert i have quotes this is my commonplace book so it says personal thoughts but it is mainly quotes inside of here let's open this up and see so i have a lot inside of here and my handwriting isn't the best but hopefully it will be readable at least for me i will be able to read this later but this is basically how i have set it up i have a lot of uh, stuff inside of here i have most of the things that inspire me inside of here but i've lo been looking for a different setup the upcoming year i have been considering actually um using the, the this as a daily planner instead of using an app even though i like using an app there is something about bullet journaling or just planning your days analog which sort of speaks 
to me. Uh, I don't know whether or not I will do it, but at least I am considering right now. And to write inside of this, I actually don't use my Lamy Safari that much. I have a bunch of fountain pens, which I will do another video on later, but I have a few pens. I actually use my Twisby Eco the most. Another one which I recently just bought. This is a demonstrator pen, so you can see how much ink you have. Uh, right now I'm using the Lamy Black Ink, but I will change this up. I'm actually going to travel uh, in a couple of days, and I want to use this one, the Lamy Green. I love the color green, but I went a little bit crazy when I first bought this traveler's notebook because I bought a bunch of inserts, and when I say a bunch, I mean a bunch. I have a few inserts, so there is a thing that you might need to know about this, or two things. The first one is that I never think about consequences when I buy things. That's a problem I am going to fix the next year, but as of right now, I have a bunch of inserts. The second one is that the dot grid insert, which I use the most, uh, often gets emptied here in Norway. You can't find it, so whenever I see it, I buy a bunch because I'm scared of running out. But I have, I think it's, let's count this. So it is one, two, three, four, five six seven and one sketch paper which i'm going to insert because i as some of you know i co-founded a clothing brand and i do a lot of design work so i need to be able to sketch but i have a few inserts for this so probably what i'm going to do is to change this uh, paper here into uh, into a regular uh, sketch paper, uh, the insert 012, which I showed you, this one. I'm going to change it to the sketch paper so I can be able to sketch inside of this. Um, and I will probably be changing up this poetry uh, section for a daily planner. I'm not really sure about that yet, but uh, if I choose to go for a daily planner, the middle one is the one that will be substituted. Uh, and the last one, my commonplace book, will still be here. So I like to collect quotes and this will continue to be here for a while. Uh, so whenever I have emptied this, I will just put another dot grid inside of here. So that's it for the Traveler's Notebook. This isn't a too long of a video, but I will do a video on my fountain pen collection as well. It isn't too many right now, but it is a few, and I'm hoping that there will be more after Christmas. At least that's that's what I'm hoping for. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, please do uh, leave a comment down below. Ask me anything. I will try to get back to it as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Again, any questions, leave them down below.